Hello, folks, and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh, let's go ahead and resume our ship. We didn't have much left to do. Actually, it's not much at all. What if we just scrap it? Like, we took care of all the interesting bits last time. Let's just move on. I'm really curious about this heavy cargo. Yeah, let's just move on. Like, the amount of LT we need and the amount of LT this is going to give us... Um, I guess it would give us a repair kit if we actually finished. Okay, let's refinish it. Let's see how fast we can do this. We can do it in under, say, 20 minutes. We can go ahead and, uh, pick up the other ship. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your Heather's restored. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we still have radiation filters full, too. Right, those are gonna be pretty pricey. Okay. We already pulled the reactor. Most of the stuff at the back here, I don't think we really care about. The only difference is a lot of these rings, of course, go into the processor versus the stuff that goes in the furnace. So that's all processor stuff. That is the ECU, which goes in the barge. We just need to separate it out. Let me go ahead and pull the stuff out of it first. Okay, so that goes in the furnace. Unfortunately, the way this is positioned is not great for me right now. Material accepted. Uh, what about you? Credits transferred. Barge is down, which is weird. Oh, I might be able to shoot it through here. Hey, ten points. But this it's gonna be a little tighter. Hmm, might not be worth it. All right, come out through this way. No, this way. There we go. Maybe if I actually separate these people. Well, we should probably grab this stuff first, right? If I don't separate these out first, we're going to get a coolant leak. It'll be very bad. So pull you over to me. There we go. So the coolant's actually out now. So now I can cut away whatever I want. And let's go and separate out here. Get dumped. Okay. Cut you away. There's four of these, right? Yeah, there's two more in there. And then, of course, this needs to be cut away, too. It says processor, though. Is there a way to just cut this? I guess it's worth a shot. Destroyed it anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. Uh, well, then we need to cut... Yeah, so you need to cut that away from the processor pieces. Wait, is there a processor? Yeah, there's a processor piece there. But that's a furnace piece, and actually that larger piece is furnace piece. Okay, can I just cut, like, say, here? Oh, no, that's the whole thing. That's not what I want to do. How about, like, here? little easier. Does that actually separate this away? It does. Okay. So this whole section here goes to the furnace. Make sure we pull the lights. That'll make it a little, little easier to get in and out now. Salvage uh, make sure to pull the lights. Go, and then you... Oh, crap on a stick. Oh, no, no, okay, there we go. So we push that out. That whole piece goes to the furnace, right? Yes. Okay, that's dead simple. No worries. Got a barge, but now I can pull you up towards me. And then once you make it pass, then we just dump you in. No worries. Okay, this goes to the processor. Easy. Credits okay, we missed out on a piece of nanocarbon. No big deal. These things happen. Only 2,000 credits worth of nanocarbon, though, so it wasn't even a big piece. Grab you. Easy. You also go to the processor, so I guess Salvage just connect to you. It doesn't even matter. Any lights or anything we need to worry about in here? Okay, so you go to the furnace, so come over here. Can I think of the first? No. 
Oh, that, okay, so it's mostly a processor piece. It's just that the cut piece goes to the furnace because we messed it up. But everything else goes in the processor, so just do that. For some reason, the tether broke, so... Take it over to that side, I guess. Speaking of that side, um, you need to go to a jack. It looks like the furnace is trying to pull you in. Valuable up. object accepted for processing. I don't know why you're being difficult, but there. That should work a little better. Now they're gonna knock into each other a little bit, but maybe that's okay. Might have been knocked that much. How are we doing? Okay, we got no other pieces they ever need to worry about that we already dumped through there. Okay, now we just need to separate out the pieces here that go into the furnace versus the processor. There we go. That should pull you away from the furnace enough. You're gonna get dumped in, right? Come on, just accept it, processor. Come on. Eventually. Looks like it's pulled in by the gravity now. Yeah. Processor gravity totally has it. So you go that way. Processing valuable Apparently I just can't aim this these tethers for the life of me. There we go. Okay. That should pull that piece in. Okay, now we need to separate these out. Fortunately, this is going to require a lot of demo charges. Like, a lot, a lot of demo charges. Is there an easier way to do this? I don't even know what that would be. We can separate this part out, but I don't know if that's really going to help me too much. Someone, of course, says I've actually, like, done these airlocks properly, which... On this side of the ship appears to be out of thing. At least not for me. Salvage goal met. Rewards will be paid. Well, we just need one more salvage goal and we can call it. And a whole 14 minutes to get there. Well, not even a whole 14 minutes, 13 minutes to get there. Let's separate all these pieces out. Anything we can cut, cut. Make sure we don't do anything too crazy. I think there's one more piece I'm missing here. Let's see if we cut those. Yeah, right there. Okay, this will tell us whether or not it's depressurized or not. Okay, it must have been. Absolutely must have been. I, mean, I was pretty sure, but I was pretty sure about the other airlocks too, so I don't know. Apparently I don't understand pressure. Well, that was probably a bad idea, but... Alright, it's gonna work out. Let's see if this is holding true. Okay, no explosive decompression. Looks like we're good. Two more pieces, and this should be separate. Should be it, right? Yeah, okay. Let's try pulling these over towards the barge. So let me try pulling this section. Does that matter? There's still some pieces connected. Maybe we take those out first. I can't do it from here. Um, from here. Nothing else here. Oh, it's it's looking at the it's looking at the air filter. That's what it's looking at. Okay, but this all should be separate now. So let's try pulling this towards the uh, towards the hab and see what happens. One tether, but this should be strong enough to do it. And let's see where something else is holding it back. Is it moving? If it is moving, it's moving very slow. It does seem to be moving though. Let me go and add another couple of tethers. We got tons. It is still moving incredibly slow. How massive is this thing? Might be too massive. Oh no, there we go. It is totally separating. Okay, well, good. That'll let us take this part out. And dump that in the processor appropriately. Don't lose it. There we go. That part goes in the barge. Processing that comes out. That goes down to the barge. 
You go to the processor. Salvage secured. Okay. Account credit applied. That's dead simple. Do we have any controls I need to do from the side? Yes. I think there's one on the inside as well, but I think we maybe we cleared this out. Okay, so tether-wise we should be done. Untether. So the reason why I wanted to do this is because there's a bunch of stuff inside of this room, and I was hoping there'd be an easy way to grab this stuff. Easy may not be exactly the call here, but you never know. There's a light there. Be your second one. Yeah, because they love their symmetry. And a lot of this should just burn, right? Yeah, I mean, not, a, not all of it, obviously. But a good chunk. What is that connected to? Oh, it's connected to the storage bin. Take the storage bins away. Yeah, and they'll separate right out. Okay. Fortunately, this wall is, shall we say, not ideally placed. Pull you guys out easily here? No, not easily at all. Crap. Putting you down doesn't really do me much good. Is there anything I can do on the sides, maybe? No, because you don't have an opening on the side. Because of course not. Uh, this processor piece will come out, so that might help. Pull you over this way. Hmm. It's still connected. Well, that's unfortunate, because there's a lot of pieces here that go to the furnace. So, how do I remove this? Going through here seems like a nightmare, but I'm going to do it anyway. What about in this room now? There's no junction pieces. How is this connected? Oh, don't tell me it's connected to the freaking filter. Now it seems like it's just connected to the wall here. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. That's gonna be a little problematic for sure. Now this goes to the furnace. There you go. Hmm. It's not gonna be easy slice and dice here for sure. I thought for sure moving the airlock out would do it, but could be a way to move this furnace piece out. Maybe there's still a connected piece there? But the only thing I can think of is that there's a connection inside here that's tying it all together. Now, it would have been the storage bin, if anything, but I don't see it now. I might just start cutting and see what happens. That seems pretty crazy. Alright, bar just below. There we go. There's definitely a connection piece here, I just don't know where it is. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Only thing I can think of is the filter, which seems weird. Well, let's see if we can pull the filter out. I guess we do need to pull the, uh, no, don't burn the filter. Oh, did I aim wrong? That again. Let's see, I can't really... Can I pull that out? Is there enough room? Maybe just enough room. Maybe. Yeah, I think we gotta pull the entire wall off, because this whole thing is the processor anyway. Okay, so we burn the structure here. Do that over on this side. It's weird it's a slope structure, though. At least it looks sloped. Maybe it isn't actually. But by doing this, we should be able to easily move the the wall out. By doing that, we should be able to get the objects away. Oh, no. Still connected. Connected, like, over there. Oh, that's super strange. I don't remember this being a problem before. I moved three of the sides, but yeah, the four sides attached to the frickin' wall over there. Okay, there's gotta be a structure piece I'm missing here. It'd be like here, right? It's gotta be here. Did that do it? Let's find out. There we go. That did it. So now you move away. Does that move this structure away? 
theoretically it's already moved it can already move away but let's see if we can pull it towards a tether maybe i just can't move it myself let's get you to a tether and see what happens you should lift away from everything else and you're bringing everything else with you that's really annoying why do you have to be annoying actually no it's slipping this part away i guess because it's already separated at least it makes it easy to grab this. There you go. Pull it down to the barge. And then you separate out. Oh, no, that's the access panel. Both those go to the processor anyway, so that just goes Salvage that way. Registered. Transferring credit. Do that wrong? Do that wrong. Will you maybe do that instead? Come on. There you go. Of course, you go to the processor, too. Yep, 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 yep. So now we got all the pipes and everything else that are going to be nonsense here. Well, at least the pieces here should be easy now, because they just fell out of the room. Credits awarded. You go in there. Salvage deposited. Okay, Applying yeah. Easier now that the wall's gone. Had to burn a couple of pieces, but overall... Not too bad. There's gotta be a way... So, I know you don't need to get 100%. I know there's no achievement for 100%. But doesn't it seem like there should be a way to get 100%? Like, it seems like there's gotta be something I'm missing. That makes this very, very easy to do. Oh, you know what? It's totally computer trouble time together, wasn't it? it Might have been. Yeah, there we go. I missed the light. God damn it. Every time, it's just a goddamn light. Apparently nobody likes tables, so let me see if I can aim this properly. Ooh, that did not aim properly. Let's try that again. That didn't work either. One more time. Here we go. That worked. And we disappeared, so I'm going to count that as a good sign. I think the lights are done. I can pull the poster. The barge. Uh, the battery pack also goes to the bar. I think that was attached to the table. Got some other posters. So I can go ahead and throw that in that way. Okay, but yeah, I think it was a computer console tying everything together. I think now these should be separate pieces. The way they're grappled, I would say yes. Alright, let's see if that's true. How do I separate these out? Um, let's pull you from this direction over there and see if that actually lifts you away. Hmm. Answer there would be no. Still somehow tied together. How on earth do I have to actually burn the superstructure away here? I don't know what it seems like. Right, because it's tied in from like this panel. Okay, how did we do this before? We must have just exploded everything. That must have been it. Yeah, that must be what we did. Alright, well, we can burn these here. Let's have to do it on all four sides, I guess. And then this one here. Okay, now there should be nothing connected to this, right? That pierce goes to the furnace. What about this? It looks separate to me. We're gonna find out. Okay, we'll pull you from this direction. You go into the processor. Try it. It worked. No, it's not working. It's still tied together. Maybe I need to pull the other direction, maybe? What is the deal? I mean, all this other piece just needs to go to the furnace. I'm missing. There's no more cup points, is the thing. Alright, well, I can burn the superstructure here. Or I can just cut, I guess. I'm gonna try this. Or just cut all these pieces and maybe that'll separate everything out. Or we need to cut, like, there. Oh, no, there we go. It came apart. At least that part came loose, which maybe was enough. Now we should be able to move this over. Let's try it. Let's 
survey says. Hey, now it's separated. That's all we needed. Alright, great. Then this whole nonsense here... Can I dunk it in that furnace? Yeah, okay, there we go. Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder, Oxygen. asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage goals. Oxygen's good. We should probably, you know, have some oxygen. What the hell's the half? There we go. Okay. It breaks. That's all we asked for. So close to that salvage goal. I think we actually... Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Uh, yeah, our oxygen. Some tethers. If this works, I think we can just end the shift. I don't think we need to do everything. As long as that burns properly, we should be good. That would probably get us our salvage goal. Because otherwise this here is going to be real annoying to do. Um, you're going to go into the processor, you go in the furnace, so actually... There we go, almost there. So close, one more will do it. One more in the furnace might do it. Okay, we're a little over 20 minutes, but come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You just gotta burn. That's all you gotta do. Both of you. Both of you burn, we get to level 9, we're good to go. We get a repair kit, we get good stuff. Deposit accepted. Survey says... There it is. As it burns right there. We're gonna lose some things. But whatever. I haven't done the thumbs up yet for some strange reason, but that's okay. There we go. That's all I asked for. That's all I asked for. Let's get out of here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we didn't get everything, but separating all the rings there is just really annoying. I don't want to do it. I don't want it. Now, ironically, the next ship is basically the same design, just repurposed. Good morning, so it might actually be the same deal. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. Well, I like that the, the daily fees have gone down a lot. We just need to rent the helmet and the suit rental. And that takes care of most of our stuff here. So with 223, I think we'd at least do the helmet. Let's find out. Survey says. Hey, there you go. That's the helmet done. And the actual suit. We need 175, so that's actually probably gonna be pretty easy to do. Okay, start a new ship here. Let's do the new type. Should be the yeah, here we go, the Pegasus. Level nine, we got a reactor. Yeah, the stargazer is just dead simple. I mean Well, I mean there's something to a dead simple ship. Still has nine levels, though. Yeah, but the nice thing is it's not going to have, like, all these rings attached to it, so this might actually be easier. Famous last words, right? Famous last words. Ah, quasar thrusters are going to be a little tough. So maybe in some ways easier. Only a class one reactor. Yeah, but not as many steps, though. We do this, we get more LT and MP. That'll make us level up a lot faster. This is still level 9, but they know it's going to be smaller. Well, I mean, we only have a limited amount of time. Let's see how much we can do on this. I mean, maybe we just don't do the Quasar Thruster. Maybe we do everything else. Maybe that'll be enough, uh, enough to get me to at least level 4. I mean, I'd like the repair kit, but we don't necessarily need it. Plus one reactors have been easier. Actually, if we do this still level four. Somehow this is still level nine. Why is this a level nine hazard level? That seems strange. It looks straightforward. What am I missing? Guess we're gonna find out. Let's look. I mean, maybe there's like an explosion wrist or something. Let's see. We already have tethers. We have enough fuel. I think we're good. Profit reports looking good, folks. I think things are really turning around here. Joseph, when I leave, eventually, what are you going to change to keep profits up like this? When are you leaving? 
When this team gets its respect for the company back, which at this rate seems like never. So, what do you say, Joseph? Well, truth be told, I don't think I could ever do what you do. <laughs> huh. Well, that's your problem right there. That kind of compliments. Mm, maybe. I could never do what you do. You know. Brown knows in the company like that, just couldn't do it. Just, you know, I respect myself too much. But, you know, if you don't respect yourself, I, I get it. Not everyone can look in the mirror every morning and like what they see. So now, you know, do what you know, you do you. Nobody else is gonna do it. Processing valuable uh, let's see. So the arm looks like it might just come away. Oh yeah, there you go. Straight in the barge you go. That's easy. That's kind of cool. Utility barge is simple. Let's go and see how easy this is going to be. The solar sail here is, seems simple enough. There's the entrance. But between the solar sails seems weird, but... I suppose you won't go in and out of the ship too often. Hopefully nothing is broken in here, but we'll find out. Okay, so my guess is the reactor's back there. Trouble is, if I start detaching these doors, the regulator's not going to work anymore. Hmm. Well, I'll go ahead and detach. You go ahead and do the regulator. At least we get one piece depressurized, it'll be good. Air pressure level decreasing. And with that, go ahead and pop these off. That um, means I should probably have done the thruster, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, the thruster is definitely going to be next. The real trick, though, is the depressurization is going to suck. Ha ha ha. But, um. We'll see. Confirmed. See if we can give her some of this Applying loose stuff credit. in the bay. Don't need to worry about it. Valuable object accepted for processing. I would love to get some of these computers away, but mostly it's just the loose stuff I need to worry about. Uh, okay. Hydroponics cabinet. That's kind of awesome. We can dump this. That'd be great. Do that from here. Hmm. Maybe if I can aim down like here. There we go. And then do this side. Okay, good. That just separated down. Great. I was worried that we were actually going to have a problem with it being connected to the hydroponics, but it didn't seem to happen. Okay. And you go to the processor. Let's see if we can just pull these hydroponics straight down. Uh, we'd have to blast these pieces off, so I'd rather save that for last if we can. Object process. Transferring okay. Could have sworn last time we touched a data bank, it exploded. Salvage deposit secured. But maybe I was trying to like Credit salvage awarded. a piece or something, and maybe they have like anti-tampering mechanisms or something. I don't know. So far though, this doesn't seem like a level nine Salvage ship. I guess the only real danger here is the uh, is the depressurization, right? It's very simple. To blow this door right now. Salvage secured. And that Credit would, in fact, depressurize the front of the ship. But it would do it in such a way that would be very dangerous to the rest of the ship. There's got to be an answer. I just don't know what it is yet. Salvage secured. I guess there might be another Applying airlock. Credits. We should look around for another airlock. That might actually be it. So if we can depressurize these safely, that'd be great. Would it seem like there'd be another airlock? I mean, like in an airplane, you only have the one entrance in and out. I mean, sometimes you have like a back entrance that you can use too. I suppose that's not exactly true, is it? Like you have the luggage. You wouldn't exactly call it an entrance. People don't exactly walk in and out of it. You can. It'd be, it'd be possible. 
I wouldn't exactly call this a lug uh, cargo entrance here, but it's kind of maybe the same idea. So it's possible. Let's see if we got anything. Um, cockpit, cockpit, cockpit. Having compartments. There is another. Oh, is that the same airlock? I think it's the same airlock, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same airlock. Uh, the engineering section doesn't have an atmosphere, so that's good. But the compartments between the hull and the cabin are, in fact, pressurized. Crap. And there don't appear to be any more airlocks. Also crap. But the cockpit is not pressurized. Okay. So it looks like even though doors here are closed, they're not airtight doors. So I can go and pull this. Yeah, didn't get pressurized. We're good. I dump into the processor. Same thing at the other one. Valuable object processed. I suppose we can go ahead and pull some of this down. Down you go. Down you go. It's so nice when you just have an open floor like this, you can just drop things in. Okay. That food pack, do not eat. I mean, we're wearing a helmet anyway, so the chances of us actually being able to eat this is very slim. Don't take it home to eat either, I suppose. Alright, so then we should be able to just dump a lot of junk. Um, I guess go ahead and open this up with the help. We still have power. That's a good sign. It's over here. I don't even see the reactor. Let's see if I can pull the thruster out. Okay, thruster ejection switch still works, so that's great. I was kind of worried about that, but it seems to be fine. So the real trick's gonna be the side compartments, which are still pressurized. How the hell is that gonna work? Um, well, we're gonna need to separate this out. Um, I need to pull the beds out. Maybe able to detach here. And I can dump all that into the, uh, the barge as necessary. Though some of the beds are also gonna go into that um, in the furnace. The actual mattresses themselves. Oh. Okay, well, that opened up the side compartments. Yep, that was all the side compartments somehow. Don't know how that was all tied together, but somehow it was. Still, the ship didn't move, so maybe that was the safest thing to do. Oh, you know, is it still tied together by beds and stuff? Uh, something's weird here. What well, is weird here? I'm gonna pull the ceiling out. Ceilings out, theoretically. Oh, you know what? Is there a computer attached there? That might actually be causing a problem. Still, though, no reactor. I thought there was a class one reactor attached to this thing. Oh, you know what? Class one's gonna be attached to the sides. So that's probably what happens. It looks like it did actually tilt us a little bit. Go to the furnace. Yeah, we are definitely tilted now. So it looks like it did actually cause some problems. Eh, not big ones, so. though. Looks like we're still fine. Did I miss something there? I guess I missed something there. Okay, mattresses go straight in the bed, because you never know who has lice. Or, um, or bed bugs, for that matter. Either one of those are bad. Bed bugs are probably worse than mice. Lice you can actually, like, reasonably expect to get rid of. Bed bugs like never go away. Once you have bed bugs, just burn the house down. You're better off. In fact, that used to be the cure. <laughs> like in the Bible. There's actually a whole discussion, I think, in Leviticus about like what to do in basically every situation. And one of the things is that if you have lice, just demolish the house brick by brick and then build a new one. Like that's basically the that's basically the the Bible's recommendation for um, 
if we're living with lice, we're living without lice for that matter. I was hoping I'd be able to pull the tether in that way. Oh, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. There you go. Nice. Okay. That's a little bit damaged, that's alright. Happens. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Hmm. Let's see, you have mattress there, go ahead and burn it. What's these side areas here? Okay, we got Comoray. Go straight into the barge. A little bit of stuttering, which is not encouraging. The solar sail also goes to the barge. It looks like that attaches from the compartment. I'm trying to see, like, what's a nice, easy thing to remove. I mean, the reactor would be great if I could, you know, find it. Let's see, there's thruster applied. stuff in there. There we go, class one reactor. Reward there it is. Time. Right through that panel. I mean, you know, we need to dump this stuff off of the side of the wall for sure. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Now maybe that's why. It's because we had this open area here that goes into the side area, and that depressurized everything as soon as we opened this to space. That's totally what it was. Salvage deposit confirmed. Okay. Applying credit. It's not horrible, it's just a little weird. But alright. Um, so if I separate this out... Ah, oh, shit, there's wires in here. Applying credit. Crap on a stick. Look at this thing. This is crazy. Also, apparently, a door console in here, which is also strange. Hmm. Is removing this going to be enough? Like, the wires are going to be... Holding this part together, I think. I mean, maybe not. See, that should be enough to remove this part. Unless, of course, these are all sticking the wall together, which I guess is possible. Hmm. Can't tell. Mm, let's dump this stuff in. So, dump this. That way. Don't need the airlock controls anymore. Don't need the power box anymore. Don't need that anymore. Hmm. Salvage deposit registered. I would love to be able to just tear out this wall. Okay, move that. Don't burn the wires, though. And the junction points here worry me a little bit. But if theoretically... Okay, so theoretically this is done now. So this should be removable. Nope, it would have left it away. Okay. That didn't work. That's alright. Let's remove the thruster and see what happens. At least the thruster cap should be able to be removed. The thruster itself should be able to be removed. Still need the thruster cap this time. It'd be a little embarrassing to do that twice in two episodes. Uh, thruster, hello. Where do you think you're going? Don't tilt that way. Oh my god. That's annoying. I didn't think there'd be enough room in there for it to move around like that. Crap. Uh, is there a good way to get this thing out? See. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I can attach here. Because these four spots here should just move out. A little dangerous cutting that close to the power center, but that's alright. And then I move this out. We should be able to move out everything separately. Usually I wouldn't bother with this, but in this case, it might be worth it. Pass the thruster and we'll pull this entire section out and should theoretically leave the thruster behind. Pull you over towards, say, the berth. Leave 
Thruster behind. Kind of. Not really, though. I just yank out of there. Yank out of there. There you go. You go into the barge. Okay, great. As you can go to the processor. Salvage and deposit secured. Credits awarded. And then you need to drag over this way. So you can go to the processor eventually. Yeah, this is not going to separate out, is it? It's not. It's not going to let me do it this easy way, is it? No, this is tying it together here, those wires. These wires that go to the furnace need to be cut out. And I need to take all the power boxes out. That's a lot of power pieces. How much power does this thing need? Apparently, a shit ton. That's a universal measurement, by the way. Alright, well, then we just take these out. Hopefully they're not controlling the reactor or anything, because that'll be really bad. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. We pack it. We don't need... We more power packs, or whatever power cells than we think anybody would need. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Thank you, out. Actually, being sideways like this totally works. I think this is a bad idea, but it tilting like this actually kind of helped us. Kind of nice being able to see the, the back end and just point down and say, go that way. We have another light up here, right? Is that a light? No, it's a processor panel. Alright, let's take out this, the ceiling. And the floor. And, you know, you can decide which one's which. That's the light there. I don't know why that didn't seem to work. That should lift up. There we go. There we go in there, please. Applying credit. Along with that junction box too. Let's take the, the floor out first. Yeah. Oh, we're separate. We got the big old piece here that goes into the barge. Um, can I zap this? I can totally can. Okay, so you go into the barge. And this whole thing here goes to the processor. Okay, that's fine. Well, it's a little bit more together, but that's a lot of power boxes, too. Wow. Right, through here. What about this other one? Does this one need to be cut? Credit awarded. That is a cut grade three. Yeah, that needs to be exploded. All right, we can at least cut this part, right? Yeah, I can cut this part and drop it in the barge. Same over here. Salvage secure. And then the amplifier is just gonna have to sit there for a little bit. More lights, sneak chick stick at. Junction boxes have to go too, but I'd rather be a little bit further away from them than this. Just seems safer. The fact that this is a level 9 hazard level indicates I'm missing something obvious. And it might just be that these things are, you know, a little dangerous. Like, see, that, ex that definitely has some high voltage stuff going on right now. Definitely seems like something was up there. Our character was a little bit worried there. There is still some sparking going on. We have to cut those cable junctions. I try cutting the sides here. Yeah, every time we get close, the music kind of picks up a little bit. There's something wrong with that. Hmm. I was about to cut that, but that would have been really bad because that has a junction box on it. This one doesn't, though. Alright, looks like the electricity did dissipate. What are you at? Now through there. I think we do need to cut these. There's some on the top, too. There's not that one, so I can kill that. And there's not one there. Is that enough? Oh, we 
we have one more over here. Pull you out. You're a little closer than I like, but it's okay. It's... Okay, should I be able to move this down? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and it looks like the furnace piece is just stay put, so that's interesting. So pull you out. Maybe I can tether all the furnace pieces together and have them all ride together. In the meantime, you go ahead and go with the processor. This thing's all kinds of twisted, but we'll make it work. We got the furnace. Oh yeah, those pieces are real small, so tethering the other is probably a good idea, but I can just do that, I suppose. Processor deposit accepted. So unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to do this separately for each one of these. So you go out down there. There's a lot of these power cells, too. Okay, so now we know why it's hazard level 9. Hazard level 9 doesn't necessarily mean hazardous, though this admittedly is. But I think it was the power junction boxes that were mostly hazard. The actual meaning seems to be, though, that it's mostly just finicky. They just don't explode anything you know where it is. Power box right there. Oxygen reserves low. Yeah, it's about the end of the shift, uh, so it's probably about time. I hope to be able to get to level 4, but that might have been a little... A little bit of a... Uh, a little bit unlikely. All right, let's pull you towards the berth. I can't pull you towards the berth. Pull you towards the berth, though. Maybe we can straighten you out a little bit. You're more towards that processor. I mean, it would be kind of funny just to dump the entire thing in the processor and just see what happens. But probably not ideal. We definitely won't get to level 5 with that. Warning. Oxygen supplies are critical. I'm going to call it good for this shift. And that's not what I do. There we go. Hit T for some reason because my brain. Yeah, okay. We missed a light. Big deal. Big deal. It's destroyed is zero, still at 0.0% .0 compared to the rest of the ship. Now, granted, when we don't manage to pull the doors out, that's going to definitely count for more than just 0.1%, but it's not too bad. Just electric systems just going to be a little bit of a pain. But so it goes. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. We're not giving you that here, of course, but, you know, wouldn't that be nice? Thanks for watching. This has been Hard Spaceship Breaker. I'm Peace Universe here, Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.